Coach, uh, first off, you guys had the deficit down to six twice there down the stretch. Uh, what prevented you guys from getting any closer? <clears throat> You know, you have to give them credit for how they played. Uh, you know, they have an MB, MVP type player in Shea. Uh, but when we had it down to six, there was, you know, a turnover here, a offensive rebound there, and those little things about we talk about not being able to beat ourselves. Uh, and, and, and those were the things that it came down to in those moments. You know, we had it down, we battled, we fought. Uh, but again, you got to take care of the little things in those situations, making sure we come up with those rebounds and that we take care of the basketball and execute down the stretch. <clears throat> Three points shooting well below their standard. Did you like the team's fight, effort, tenacity as far as closing out the shooters? I love our guys' fight. That's one thing that you know I think is, is commonplace for us. That's how we're going to have to play. That's how we give ourselves an opportunity by committee. Uh, guys who step in have to know their, their role and know what they're capable of doing. And it's got to start on the defensive end. Yeah, multiple efforts night in and night out. Uh, you know, his aggression, uh, his ability to, you know, push the pace offensively, but then defensively, there was a lot of times that he being able to show his hands, uh, trying not to get into foul trouble, you know, because Shea is a tough guard. Uh, you put multiple defenders on him. Uh, by the time you send a double team, he's looking to turn the corner. And those, 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 that's what makes him a great player. But, I, you know, what Anthony did uh, was, you know, he disrupted a lot of shots, contested a lot of shots, and he's able to, you know, collect rebounds to get out on the break and go. Was the margin of error just that small tonight? You talk about the little turnovers here and there. The, you know, you're missing Franz and, and some of these other guys. Was the margin of error just so small tonight against this Thunder team? Yes. Uh, ultimately, you know, like I said, give them credit for how they played and what they've done, and you know. What they, what, you know, what coach has done with that group, uh, but again, when you, when you're down bodies, it's hard to not finish a possession, uh, to go 15 for 24 from the free throw line, to turn the ball over 16 times for 23 points. Those are the margins that we that we're working and have to continue to get better at uh, as a group and as a unit. Free throws were a trouble last night, Miami, again tonight. How do you work on that in the middle of the season? You know, when we get to the gym, you got to take your time. You know, none of those guys stands in there saying I, I want to I don't want to make the shot you know they're all confident in their own right uh, to be able to step in and make the shot now it's just about going in there and executing it uh, I think that's what it comes down to I mean for him coming back for his first game after so many games I, I think just being able to get him you know through a game with nothing you know nothing no problems I think is a big big step uh, his defensive energy his defensive effort like we talked about pre in pregame what he's capable of doing and how he can change he changes our defense uh, when he's out there Will the day off help potentially get some bodies back in New York absolutely <laughs> absolutely Defenses these uh, past few games have been pretty aggressive in double teaming Paolo. How have you felt about the offensive ex execution around him in that span? Well, him making the right play. Uh, I mean, I see you see a couple skip passes to the corner, finding cutters. You know, a couple times he's at the elbow. They double team him from the elbow. He made a great pass to Goga for the dunk. He made another pass to Mo underneath the defense. Skip pass over to Caleb in the corner. Uh, I think he's trying to find the right play, trying to find the right guy. And then you know, teams are loading up, and that's what we're going to continue to see. And our guys have to be willing to step into their shots to make the right play when the ball leaves his hands. You alluded to it pregame um, that Mark Hill and Joe would be playing back to back. So do you expect them back for Monday afternoon? I guess it's, it's not a back to back, is it? Uh, no. Then they'll be back. <laughs> Thank you.